So, got another one of these motionary knives. So far, been pretty impressed with their stuff. So let's see what we got in here. And the same big, nice cleaning cloth and another shrink wrap knife. So this is the Mosinary MK10 in CV20 steel. Titanium and CV20. Let's, uh, let's not tarry or dilly-dally. Let's just get it out of there and get to it. Yeah, they shrink wrap them. I guess that's another way to manage the the overseas travel. Shrink wrap them in a bag and don't allow any moisture in. Shoot a little oil in there, which they did here, and send it on its way. I don't think this is needed at this point, so I'm going to get rid of that. I think we can do away with this. like that little knife. Whew. Okay, let's get rid of this box. All right, oily. It's got a nice weight to it. Good looking pocket clip. It's got some pretty cool milling. They badged the scale. And really clean profile. I mean, pretty nifty. Pretty cool. Lanyard hole and a front flipper with some jimping. Looks like it's uh, maybe a bolster lock. Let's get this oil off it and then, man, we're going to run that action. Because you know I want to get in it. I want to see what's up. I like this raw titanium. To me, that's a good look. For a, for a tool, for a piece. It's pretty cool. Alright. Got that surface coat off. Yeah, feels good in the hand. It's nice. I mean, the edges are crisp. They're not knocked off. But they're not sharp either. Alright, let's run it. Let's see what's in there. Oh, man, that is so good. Let's get this oil off. So, I see two things with the blade here. Three, I guess. Nice little harpoon shape, I think, that's going on there. But it's got a hand satin finish he here and up the uh, spine. And then it's got this coating that I've seen on other knives um, down here and it's up at the top on the swedge. It's got the motionary badge and then on the back side MK10 Rattlesnake CPM 20CV but oh did that run nice Got the locks got a little, I don't know, a little cutaway machine portion there for to grip it out. Let's see how that works. Yeah, pretty nice. That lock is pretty stiff, but the action here is pretty smooth. I could tell the only thing holding that back is that detent and it's and it's stiff. So if I move it out of the way, yeah, that blade free wheels. So the only thing controlling that that shut action is the detent ball yeah nice yeah pretty pretty cool little piece I'm digging it. Well, you know, let's get in it. Let's see what's going on. See what makes this thing tick from the inside out. Uh, T6s, I'm assuming. Yep. That's okay. I'm not a hater of T6s. They have their place. I mean, the barrel and the threads on that, they're the same as a T8s would be, I'm pretty sure. 
just that head size and man look at the size of that screw clearly that runs all the way through to this other scale and is creating part of the closure and then there's two hidden screws underneath the pocket clip pocket clip is very minimalistic can barely even feel it how do i say it it's feather light light as a feather so that screw was tight that itty bitty little dude was really put on there this one too no loctite though they were just cinched down i did feel it give way as soon as i loosened that up and i think what i felt was the lock bar came loose so those last two screws hold on the lock bar Thinking maybe that one's got to come out for it to come apart. I'm not sure. Probably. Yeah, it's screwed in from both sides. I'm not sure how that would be holding them scales together. But the blade definitely came loose after taking that side out. Ooh. What's holding us down here? There's that there's that lock bar. So it's a liner lock. It's not a bolster lock. I guess this is just milled so tight that it doesn't want to let go back here. There's a pins or something in between those two scales and they are tight. I mean, I don't feel any give in there whatsoever. Mm. all right bear with me okay after much coaxing just really having to work this thing apart i finally got it and I mean, what I found in here is pretty dang nice. I mean, everything here is wonderful. We're talking some really quality stuff here. It's milled really nice. These titanium scales are, I mean, everything I'm seeing here is I mean, it just says a lot about Mosinary right now. This stuff is pretty, pretty solid in here. Pretty nice, man. And I don't know who's manufacturing their knives or if they are the manufacturer. I mean, I find that kind of highly unlikely. My guess is, you know, one of the manufacturers is making them the fact that i see so many rattlesnake designs um makes me kind of curious if in fact they are not the manufacturer because the reason i say that is because i i saw a comment recently that said that i don't know how you know i'm probably going to help start a rumor here but that uh, six leaf is actually it's the designer but it's the manufacturer of six leaf knives rattlesnake is you know they're they're putting rattlesnake as the designer but that's actually the manufacturer so man i you know honestly i don't know i can't answer that question and to be truthful not really that concerned about it i don't really care who's making it you know if i found out it wouldn't change my opinion one way or another about it um mostenary is right now on my list like six leaf is um, 
Six Leaf has a lot more models and opportunities to check out their their knives. Most scenery inventory, or at least what they're selling, in the in the places that I know to look for it, are pretty limited. You know, they they come out with one or two models here and there. Um, it's pretty limited to find their stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this back together. So I seen this on another one of their knives where the pivot is captured in one side of the scale, even though there's a screw in it from both sides. So it's kind of a neat deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together right now and get it back in there. And then in order to get that correctly tight, hmm, interesting. I, I actually have to take that screw back out. Yeah, I said that and then I was tightening it. Yeah, in order for this to work properly, I got to, I got to put that screw in while this is in place here like so let's try it again i'm curious if that hardware is magnetic it is not so what does that tell me that piece is stop it but this pivot screw is not is is it titanium or a stainless of some sort it's not magnetic though okay so now we're captured there um i guess a washer shiny side up and some bearings that is a pretty rough surface right there that is not polished on that blade where the bearings running so I'm going to give it its best chance to run and put that face down against that that shiny washer Albeit, it was running pretty darn nice. I didn't have any complaints about the way it was running. It's got internal stop pins. It's pretty cool. To me, that's definitely an upgrade. It's got one on both sides instead of just the blade smacking into one of these captured pins. Um, I'll mount that next. Yeah, so, anyways, these guys are kind of on my list, like Six Leaf is. I've been paying attention to them and uh, picking up their knives, the ones that appeal to me, the ones that are attractive to me. I've been uh, picking, up, picking them up as I go, and uh, I am finding myself pleasantly or pleased with what I'm finding. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff so far. Nice little button lock. Um, it also was in CV, 20 CV. Now I've got this one. I've got a couple others sitting around here that have come in that I need to get checked in, run a video on, check them out. And they're they're kind of in my search queue. So if they if they post up a knife in an auction, I see it, and so I'll go check it out. Maybe throw a bid at it. Okay. 
going to put a dab on that detent ball. Not much. And I think it's ready to go back together. I know this end down here did not want to come apart. Boy, it, it falls into that category of super fitment. Okay. Went to bed, went together a lot better than it came apart. There's that screw again. It's non-magnetic. Is that stainless? Like a high-end stainless? I mean, surely it's not titanium. I guess it could be. Okay. Pocket clip's got a good profile. It's recessed into the titanium. So, you know, it's basically a rectangle, so it's got lots of surface in that milling, uh, which, you know, makes me comfortable with this one screw mount system. Uh, should never have any problems with this as far as wallering it out or coming loose or whatever. Should be pretty good. Okay. So now it's just down to getting this with the proper tension on it. Solid as a rock right there and there. Let's run it. Ooh, that detent's strong. And it's, I don't know, wow. Is that drop shut now? I mean, almost. Really centered blade. The action on this thing. And the detent here. Really nice. Alright, let's stop wiping knife blades with our fingers. How about that? It's like just an accident just waiting to happen. I've had it happen. I've actually been wiping a knife with a, a thin towel like this, being aggressive, trying to get tape off or something, and running across the blade and had it, the sharpness of it go right through that towel and cut me. So, yeah. I guess it's the hazards of the occupation, man. Ugh. I mean, I'm liking this thing quite a bit. Now, there's there's some things lacking here. I'm going to get to them. But let's wrap up on this action. It's really nice. This jimping on top here. It's bitey enough to get your thumb on there. It's And it's high enough. The jimping goes right to the top. And so it's pretty confident to just run the thumb right over the top of it. I like it. And almost drop shut at this point. It's got a nice little ring when it locks in on that detent on the bottom. We'll run it slow, get a feel for how strong that detent is. Yeah, pretty darn nice. Same on the top. About 50% on the lockup. Very cool. I like it. Ergonomics. So, there's a sharp little corner right here. I do feel it. Actually, that's not the one I'm feeling. I'm feeling this corner right here. I do feel that. I mean, on a hard, strong grip, um, this harpoon's got a nice landing place for the thumb. I mean, all in all, the size of this and the way it is, Pretty solid grip, but I'm not going to call it confident because if this met resistance, there's no finger guard here to hold the, hold the hand back. So, I, you know, is it pokey? Is it, I mean, man, if you run it like this, pretty confident stuff right there. Uh, but would I classify this as a, as a self-defense weapon? 
Nah, I wouldn't. Now, yeah, I don't know. A lot of a lot of guys might. If I was wearing gloves, uh, leather gloves, possibly. Yeah, but as it sits, I you know I'm gonna say I like the ergonomics. I like the grip, but I can't on my scale of confident, not very confident, very confident. This one's definitely down in this range just because there's, there's no protection. You know, if this hits some heavy leather or a button or, you know, anything that it got resistance, it's going to make the, the wielder of this a casualty. I do like these two little, I'm not sure what that is. It, re, you know, it reminds me of, it just popped into my head. It reminds me of Star Trek because I think they have the Klingons count down or maybe it's alien, predator versus the, the predator, you know, their little timer countdown. Anyways, man, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but all right, let's check the pocket clip. I got high hopes for it. Looking at it, looks like it's got plenty of room. It's got nice ramp. Should get over the thick material. It does. It kind of bunched it up, so it caught it. And it comes out pretty good. I think if I just took my time like that and got it over it, yeah, it completely runs pretty darn deep, considering uh, it's a milled titanium clip. And it's a good look. I mean, that's a good-looking clip. And it's it's there. On jean size material, butter, money. It's got a good grip. How about back here where I carry I like it. Yeah, runs really nice. Easy one hand in and out of the pocket. Pretty good. Check it for safety real quick. This back, almost like an integral. Pretty darn cool the way that they've milled this and the tolerances of that. It's wonderful. Back here, it's almost, almost invisible. Completely flush together. The tip is... Definitely not accessible. I don't even got to try. It's tucked up in there behind there. So great job by by Mosinary to uh, to build a safe knife in the pocket. This thing's going to go in one handed. No worries about about cutting yourself. And I'll be honest, I, the the non finger guard, notwithstanding on this knife, this thing's going to go in my pocket. I just I like it. It's light. It's comfortable, easy to deploy. I, I mean, man, I like this thing. Uh, I wonder if it's sharp. Let's check it. I, I'm guessing it is, but we'll see. Yeah, kind of toothy. I can hear it. I think it would benefit from a strop. Probably would quiet it up a little bit. Let's try it. Okay. About three three runs each side. Simple strop work. Oh. So much better. Just needed a little strop work. It's quieter. It's not near as toothy. Yeah. Wonderful. Crazy sharp. All right. Price and availability. Um, so these mercenaries, I, Hey, I don't know if they're available any place else. I think I have seen them on AliExpress, but I can't speak to that. I, but I think I have seen them there. Uh, I'm chasing them on eBay auctions. I follow them. There's a link below, I believe for the mercenary knife site. If not, I'll make, I'm gonna make sure it's down there when I post this video. And, uh, I picked this one up for around $90. So, CV20 steel, MK10, rattlesnake design, full titanium, wonderful front flipper action, almost drop shut, about 90 bucks for 20 CV. Super sharp blade. Needed a strop. Qualify it. But, yeah, I like it. It's a... It's a MK10. 
Appreciate you watching.